Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. We're going to talk about pillage, uh, the new armors for the lionfish, and whatever else you guys may want to talk about. Um, let's go ahead and introduce everybody. Magic Mike. Hello, and I'm sure we won't have any uh, shortage of things to talk about. Okay. And Derpy. What's ten times bigger than it should be? <laughs> your RAM on your computer? Well, that that and the damage we're taking from the from the level one hundred and eighty target. But yes. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure which one we were going for there. And Pegleg. It is the power of the force when combined with my joystick is ten times bigger. I'm not sure which joystick he's referring to, but let's go ahead and start with the slides. Judge me by my size, do you? <laughs> Foolish you are. <laughs> I have a second. Okay. Okay. Come on. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, I'm not presenting. Am I presenting? You are presenting. Yeah, you're doing it right. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Okay. Even if you don't realize you are. I thought um, I did. Okay. I, I didn't run across this issue. Uh, fix the land in the 190, blocking ships from sailing around the center island. Was there an issue there that yes. I missed? Yes. Okay. Yeah, there was up at the about the 1 o'clock position. You couldn't go they, through They cheated and had narrow channels that our ships couldn't fit through, so they did weird things. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, we're getting... Uh, I have all the new armor and the two lionfish already, and uh, and KB also has uh, full fully armored. I'm not sure with the new one. Yeah, I was going to ask that. That's got to be the old armor, then, right, KB? Yeah, and one ship on auto is not an alternative. Okay. Alrighty. Um, they also added the leaderboard to be one of the tabs. Uh, in pillage, where you see bonus, it's just merely the leaderboard um, prizes. So as uh, we talked about before, which you know, um, fail to plan, pl whatever that you know, fail to plan, um, plan to fail. Uh, it's really difficult. We'll talk about them later. It's really difficult when the information that you provided is either wrong or incomplete. But we will we will uh, move on with that because part of that was the fact that uh, you're going to get one extra harbinger upgrade token for merely participating in pillage, and if you save the five from the TLC, that'll give you six. That gives you enough to take a ship from X3 to I'm sorry uh, U3 to X1 with no time because it's five days, 19 hours. But, yeah, I'm sure we'll talk about that in a minute or probably towards the end of the show. Uh, let's see what else is going, Mike. All righty. Um, we're in pill pillage now. Feral Beast for the uh, Badger. Unstoppable Horror, which has a little bit of uh, this uh, lionfish target in it in regards to damage being way above what would be expected for uh, for it. Does anybody uh, disagree? What are we talking about? How is it that it has lionfish target in it? I didn't... That no, would no, be no, 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 no. The fact that the damage is way over the top relative oh, to the expectation. Okay. In, in what, okay. In what battle? Unstoppable horror. Unstoppable Horror TLC. Is that the one I haven't tried? Is that the one? Do I need to do that TLC? Oh, it's for the Abominations not doing it. Yeah, and, and you're taking like, uh, I don't know, um, like eight hours um, per prize pack. It, it feels like the the whole idea of the auto target has taken a, a turn, um, which just means the heavy damage target where there's no way to, you know, um, mollify most of the damage. It's uh, So uh, next week we have the raid. We're going to get to some of the raid prizes later on. Um, Harlock's Vanguard TLC gives you raid points. Hold the line gives you three three-day um, uh, 
uh, defense platform uh, build tokens, um, which is good to keep on doing. And you can actually do that one on auto for minimal damage. Um, then we have the August Forsaken Mission, BXP Weekend, Foreboding Seas again, which is for the Harbinger. If you can do it, if you're not at X1, for um, go ahead and do it. And then we have uh, Universal Conquest again, Bounty, High Ground, Titanic Ascension, Ascension. And um, what we are expecting to be is a... Did we just lose Mike? Okay, there we go. No. Um, did I go out? You? I, okay, so the, the screen just... Uh, oh. Okay. Um, pillage, Feral Beast again, and Unstoppable Horror again. So, um, yeah. Any thoughts on the calendar, anybody? That could have been an October calendar with Unstoppable Horror showing up on it twice. At least that would fit the month. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. All right, let's move on. All right, Pillage. We have uh, two, well, one new target, um, the lionfish target, which I have yet to look at. I was trying to decide which one to do uh, based on what crew I rose, rolled first. So I rolled uh, sea serpents, so I started doing the 170s. And within a half an hour, I was able to get uh, 14 of them done. And um, based on the feedback I'm hearing, I might just keep on hitting reclaimers and skip over the lionfish target. If Josh just says it's easy and low, um, but um, uh, he already has all the new armors put on. Um, so that might not be the option for most people. Is that um, suggesting they, they tuned the 180 already? I there's no no I haven't heard anything about that. So. Would he just? What Josh? Yeah, hey, uh, I'm just guessing that I damage is right low. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Ah, there's TSM. Yeah, the lionfish sucks. So yeah, the tuna fish. I like calling it the tuna fish. Mm, yeah. yeah. I, I did see uh, Dynamite made a comment there about 605 that three on auto old armor for one hour's damage. That would be really darn good performance, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I'd be, I mean, I'd be happy with that. I'm assuming he has a full set of armor, too. Three on auto old armor, one hour damage. Three on auto. Well, let me go figure out the. There, on, yeah, there is one tip really I can helpful. share on the on the Garrison 180 that I picked up from other chatter. There's a, there, uh, yeah, the new Garrison 180 in the pillage there. Um, well, you've got 180 on your screen. Isn't it 180 in pillage? pillage. Oh, 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 wait, wait, are you talking about the FM or the pillage target? Pillage. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure because, okay, okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. That's all right. Um, there's Sentinel turrets in, that, turrets in it now. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Slip of the tongue there. Um, and you can just outrange them if you want to play pixel dancing. Um, and if you do so, you can pick them off and great. If not, if those things hit you, they're doing noticeable damage. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. And so you were able to outrun, outrange sentinels with the lionfish. You can just outrange them. It's one of those creep up on the stupid things kind of deal. Well, which is fine. Which is fine. Yeah. Um, I'm, you know, I think that's one of the things that people wanted to see in the targets. So it wasn't just purely an auto target. Yeah. And that could be reason why a lot of people are taking a huge amount. Some people, there's a huge uh, variance in damage from what I'm seeing. That Some people are taking three, four hours of damage. And then uh, KB is taking 1.5. Josh saying the damage is low. Uh, and then Dynamite saying one hour damage, three with the old armor on. So that could be the, uh, that could be what. Uh, well, he's Dy Dynamite's doing it on auto, and on auto, auto you weren't going to avoid those. So. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It does say three on auto. Okay. You're right. Yeah. So, um, okay. 
Um, Derpy, you were in the midst of uh, getting ready to do something? Yeah, I'm just finishing out here. I'm actually figuring out, writing some numbers, figuring out how much the um, armor helps. I've, I've just got that out here. You'll take um, yeah, one one moment. You're, you're jumping the gun just a tiny bit. But, so you're the one that mentioned it. So that's well, I said I'm going to go do this thing. Uh, oh, and okay. by the time I finish talking here, I'll actually have this done. So no um, pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Are you getting any lag on your computer? Is that the problem? Yes. Yeah. Lots of lag. Anyway, <laughs> um, if you are running, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> ah. Hold on. Okay. Um, okay, as far as the second set of targets, the B targets, I do not see a reason if you have U3 or X1 reclaimers to even bother doing these. Um, you get 5,000 payout for doing the reclaimer target, and then you get 5,000 for doing the B target entire set. So there's really no reason if you have reclaimers that are in in good shape to even bother to to do the b set because you're spending way more time because i'm seeing people with you know not dock repair um for the everest um in the 90 so even at x1 so the reclaimer you know I go in and, you know, it's somewhere between on the water to easy dock repair um, for the reclaimer at X1. Um, I don't know at U3, but it's got to be better than um, hitting both with the Everest and the Gladius. Did that provide you enough time, Derpy? That sure did. All right. So what I did was I ran through the... Uh, they figure, you know, we have survival. If you have more survival, you'll take less damage, but how much less? Mm. If you take four lionfish as your baseline value, that's just like the normal one thing you expect. Putting all armor, all the old armor on, would almost cut your damage in half. You'd take 43% of the damage. So okay. it would you'd almost half your damage if you put on all the armor. If you put on all the new armor you just over half your damage. You take you take fifty five percent less damage compared so, to the baseline. Okay, so so you're you're including just six of the armors, correct? Yes. Is that how many armor slots are on the hole? No, there's That's, six available total per well, armor I put, slot. I put that was everything. That was the entire fleet. Oh, okay. So you put twenty four armors on there. Yes. Okay, well, so we're yeah. we're only twelve are only available. Mm-hmm. So that's at least as far as this pillage goes. So it, it's yeah. going to be, if you max out this pillage and put everything on, old armor and new armor, max them out, you'll take about half the damage as someone with blanks. Okay. But the old armor helps a lot is what I'm, what I'm seeing here. Like it yeah. can almost cut your damage in half if you put on all the old armor on all your ships. Okay. But I just heard, correct me, that the new armor isn't significantly better. Yes, that's um, that's correct. Okay. It's, around, it's about twenty percent. Oh, twenty percent. I think this is about eight percent better. But no, that's well, it's better. it's that was a linear I thought. Mean, sorry. It's when we talk about improvements, percentage improvements of percentage values, things get weird. Yeah. But you'll you'll take about twenty percent less damage using all the new armor compared to all the old armor. Okay, and again, this is more armor than is currently achievable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, just, just wanted to clarify for people that were, you know. Um, Alrighty. Um, do you want to go and, um, um, does anybody want to go and hit the lionfish target, the 180? And, um, and I am what currently still in repair, so I can't. I'm also doing some repairing, but I could do it with a partly damaged fleet if we wanted to. Okay, okay, sounds good. And what? Um, one will be out. In what what, what is your armor situation? 
Fine. Here, I'll start. I'll start screen sharing. Okay. Unless you were talking to Mike there. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The new armor does uh, plus three per per plate. You can get uh, six plates per. So. Right. Here's what I've got. Okay. The, I've got four ships. They're currently 51 minutes damaged. Mm -hmm. And they're like this. They are one. I mean, they're just. There's no armor on any of them. Okay. Okay. It's straight up, just just weapons and specials. So. Mm -hmm. And you're not running a crew, and we're not going to use a rocket. So. Uh, yep. Both are both are correct. All right, 180. Let's see how bad this is. Driving or auto? I guess I'll drive it. Okay. I have not seen this target before. I haven't looked at it, so it looks pretty similar. It's like the VSP. it is. It's an expanded version of the FM target, really. The FM but the, the big, the biggest change, honestly, is the these additional Sentinel missiles that do a lot of hurt. Oh, interesting. And like a different that. entry point and the lack of gates or portals. And it seems like you can, you can kill more stuff without getting in the. Uh, the range of the halo or whatever we're calling it. Right. You could prep more. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So I'm killing that thing. I'm not ranging it. Yeah, you outrange it, you're you're good. Yeah, and it has a bigger footprint than it from what I saw, it has a bigger uh targetable footprint than um you would expect. I mean, I mean, pretty much everything does. Well, it's changed. Yeah. Didn't used to be that way. Back in my day. Yeah, back in the day. They kept those uh, targetable, uh, targetable auras pretty small. Alrighty. Um, Get close enough? I don't know. Yeah, I guess you can. That one you can. The Sentinel oh, down there, I don't believe nope, you nope. can. Well, oh. I, did, I didn't for that one anyway, but I'll peek in range. I don't mind. Oh, one range of the Sentinel. Yep, and your health bar took a hit. And the problem there is, is you're going to take hits from the big missile in the meantime while you try to take that out. Yeah, so, I mean, you have to come by the inside on that eventually, right? So, why not just do it then? Or wait till later, whichever. All right, I didn't see myself countermeasuring these guys. Well, the Sentinels never fired, so uh, no, so you didn't get a chance to countermeasure them. Yeah, that's true. When, I, when I was I, thinking about driving into one of them. When I did, I could see my countermeasures firing. Whether they were knocking them down or not, I couldn't tell. Well, yeah, that's the, um, the countermeasure... Um, the built-in countermeasure for the lionfish is for UAVs, rockets, mortars, and missiles, right? Yep. I mean, that's what it says, but you can also take in sprints, and sprint says they shoot at missiles, and they don't shoot at these missiles. So, not to not to rehash that. Yeah, but, but this you, is you can't believe anything the targets tell you because they kick side brace their own rules and lies to you. So yeah, but before but this you is go a, in, built in for this is a built in weapon. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. For this, so it's it's a little bit different than bringing Derpy in before you go in. Stay out, stay out, stay out. Never mind. Uh oh. Okay, just stop now. Scroll out of the target, or take your view out. Think about this for a minute. You've got two entry points there that don't have gates on them, you've got the open gate into the middle, or you've got two different gated ways to go in could they be baiting you with the open and open though because you've got four explosive turrets and two um of those shit those um whatever they're called that have the uav ships on them that are going to be able to fire on you if you're trying to rush in and get that that big uh halo type missile thing yeah it almost it almost seems better to go through this guy yeah I think it's, you know, they're counting on people saying, oh, look, the gates are open. This is easy. Well, maybe that's not the right play. Hmm. That's why I was trying to grab you before you went in. Yep. 
I need to do some uh, experimenting in this target to see what works and. Oh yeah, totally. If if all these things have minimum ranges or not, because. But if you open the gate and you're still going through the open one, okay. Either way. I didn't go through that. I mean, I already killed the thing, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, dynamite saying, uh, you know, I went to the center first like you did. <clears throat> What's interesting is I don't see you shooting down any of the UAVs, which I've seen those I'm get shooting at them there. there. There you did. Yeah. Yeah. Once they oh. once they hit the first ship, you can't shoot them down. But between them, like right now, you can. After okay. they're going around in circles, you can't. Yeah, as soon as they start chanting, they're they're untargetable. Right, and he had he had one stream of them that it looked like it never fired on, but maybe someone. Yeah, I, I I couldn't. I don't remember if I fired those or not. Well, there we go. It started with fifty-one minutes damage. It doesn't look horrible, does it? No, I think you did pretty decent on it. And you avoided damage from all but one of the sentinels, which is significant in the help, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Well, just and under hour. two hours. That's pretty bad, actually. Yeah, that actually is pretty on par with mine, except I was doing three hulls instead of four. So, I'd still say, com comparatively speaking, you probably did better. It had been a three to three hull comparison. My fourth ship just yeah, but the could probably. The results, I mean, two hours damage for one target? Yeah, that's, that's that, the not that's, cool part. That's of it. That's no. Not cool. no thanks. That's the ten times higher than it should be then. Yeah. My fourth just came out, and it's got like an hour and 20 minutes damage on it. I could <clears> do <throat> one. Well, wait, one of them's pretty shot. No, I could do it. But it's the same thing you just did. So. Yeah, so the armor is going to make a big difference, and... Um, Oh, yeah, I got I, armor. He doesn't. Yeah, and we also have the fact that we'll get to that, the fact that we were told that we weren't getting the new armor. Yeah, and it was tuned for three ships, too, also, we were told, weren't we? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, let, let's move through to... Uh, I'll throw a flag on that play. All right. Um <clears throat> It feels like because of the um, well, basically we have uh, four main prizes: uh, the feature prizes, the new war engine, which we'll talk about later. Looks good. The Maximus cannon looks interesting, um, to be honest. Uh, but a huge cost as far as getting the limited. Uh, that's also a huge cost for the war engine, and then the two armors. Uh, the individual price. Doesn't this feel? Oh, a little bit high for pillage as far as the feature prize ask ask Half five million. times 150,000 yeah isn't it shouldn't it be well oh we no it's five times 30 no that seems normal I'm adding on the two garrison armors is a bit rough but yeah because that's where it feels like you know because we could also you know, you could also get the uh, the two day building tokens, which is usually you know way too expensive. Um, I'm filled on them, so I don't even know what the price is. I think and it's then yeah, per so yeah, yep. so uh, and there's here's the other stuff I could find that some people would, may need, especially the invader plates. Um, and those prices look like they're the same as last time. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, they do. Yeah, I, I don't think the individual prices have gone up. I'm just saying the it feels like the the armor was a last 
minute edition. So I wouldn't be surprised if that price actually goes up to 22.5 next time we see them, if there's a lower ask, because the individual price seems low, to be honest, but the, the, um, them asking us to get another 180 K that, that is, that's more the issue that I'm discussing. Sure. It's not the ind individual points. It's the total points that more that I have a, an issue with, with a, I guess, an emerging hall, uh, whatever you want to call it for most players. Um, you know, um, people are at different levels of completion and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the ability to, you know, put on the um, Cynthian scale armors at this point is, uh, you know, some people don't have the ability to do it, uh, even if they earn them. So we'll, we so will see. What do we see as priority? Engine cannon and then the armors? Cannon number one for me. Cannon number one? Above the engine? Well, the I, engine, I, the I, engine I like we're probably going to get in a TLC. Ah. Yeah, yeah, but that's true. Yeah, yeah, but that's true. But okay. Um, I mean, I was gonna say, well, maybe you want the engine's important if you want to build four or three, three with the engine, three or four with the engine before VSP weekend. Um, but I guess you did say we have a minute TLC, so if you wanted to wait like three weeks before equipping engines, you could. Um, I I am not the biggest fan of limited weapons anymore. I never really was. If I don't have the points, oh well, I won't have the points. But yeah. Yeah, I actually have the engine as my lowest because of the, even though it, it doesn't show up in the calendar anywhere, even though we know it's going to show up in the calendar um, and it's going to be something that we hit, um, uh, the more, you know, <clears throat> but you're never going to get back the chance to get the cannon. Yeah. Um, Although if you only build four ships for the first raid, you, uh, you don't actually need all 50. You might be able to get away with only only redeeming two of them. Well, normally we get 40. And so, unless you know more than I do. Um, I, I said the, I mean, I, I said the wrong number because we had the wrong weapons for the Harbinger, but 40 yeah. weapons, you don't need, if you only, if you don't need eight of them, you only need 32. You only have to get to this village was what I was trying to say. I gotcha. Um, and then the scale, and then the scale armor, um, I, yeah, you know, because I'm assuming the war engine is going to become available prior to the raid that we need to uh, use the Democles in. That's the only reason I, I put it last because it's a cool engine, um, and the Maximus cannon is uh, it's got some interesting stats to it that we haven't seen in a while. Um, let's let's go to that, uh, Mike. Uh, all right, the Ares war engine. Um, Looks it, cool. Yeah, kind of does. Yeah, um, you know, we get uh, the only unexpected part is you know maybe three percent more evade, uh, maybe five to ten percent more combat speed than we would expect. It's but just a, it's just a boring copy paste. The rest of the tier ten point fives are going to look exactly like this, which is the numbers changed around the. The numbers yeah. will be the same. It will just be radioactive, or instead of ballistic yeah. radioactive, it will be a solar corrosive. Yeah, yeah. So we see uh, we see a slight creep up from ten on a couple of things. Um, so this isn't the, uh, but this is for your Democles. It's not for your Reclaimer or, or anything else. So uh, um, let's move on to the um, uh, the Maximus Cannon. Um, Range of 50, which we expect for all ballistic cannons. Reload time of four, so it's already down to one without any auto reloaders. Just when you skull it, it's going to get down to one. Um, I'm still getting used to the damage numbers, to be honest. Projectile speed is slow, but uh, you also got to remember nothing in Siege moves, so it's not really... Uh... And then the accuracy is 100. Nothing in, um, um, you hit everything that you aim at. Um, 
um, because it's all going to be buildings. But the interesting part is the Pierce range of 90. Um, so basically, um, we haven't seen Pierce, what, in two years? Have we not seen it with the um, Gladius? Does it have Pierce? Well, it sort of has that functionality with the X1 weapon. I don't know yeah. if it specifically has Pierce, but it it works like Pierce. <laughs> okay, but wait, the way Pierce works, um, it's been a while since it's been out. So we have the range of 50, which you're going to add on, you know, um, uh, with some of your cannon extenders, you're, you're going to bring that range out. So the way Pierce works is it's 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 sort of like directional splash, but this peer rate, Pierce range is huge. Um, but let, um, let me step back a minute. So basically, the way Pierce works is <clears throat> the um, the cannon will fire, and it requires to have something to fire at, as you expect, something that's within targetable range. And once it reaches that range and hits that, it will continue another. I don't know, is it another 90 from that? Because I was trying to find, I did find, uh, actually, it was Robot that wrote up the uh, the first Pierce weapon um, on the forums just to, you know, I was trying to clarify everything because it has been a while. In theory, it's supposed to travel another 90 from the maximum damage in a straight line from there and do damage. And most of the time, um, these weapons have a decay, um, which means that the further they get from the max damage, the, their uh, damage decays. You know, there's less damage at the max damage versus the pierce range. But this uh, that's normally a stat that is shown uh, in the stat block. We do not see it here. Um, Okay, the Pierce range in the Gladius X1 is 24, according to Hey, that. remember when I said Gladius worked like it had Pierce? Yeah, yeah. So 24, yeah, yeah 24, but the 90 is crazy. Yep. So, but basically, you know, I'm curious to see what the targets look like and if they take advantage of the fact that you basically, you know, you aim at one thing and then at your max range and then you're hitting something double that double that distance away um is going to be fascinating with no decay according to or no lowering of damage from what we see from the stat block so that's going to be it's going to be fun i'm not sure who's designing this one but that could be it could be a fun target if uh um properly designed with this pierce range of 90 this could be this could be fun and does it have and does it have a flashlight? I know um, I know TSM likes the artwork, but is that a flashlight or a spotlight on the uh, on the side of it? Oh, it looks like it. LEDs. Yeah. Laser. <laughs> yeah, you know, a targeting system of some sort. Yeah, laser targeting. Yeah. So um, we'll have the opportunity. We have the opportunity now to get ten of these. We have, we'll have the opportunity, um, our next opportunity will be the raid to get another 10. There should be another TLC um, we're expecting during Bounty, but we're told by, we've been told that it's been removed by... Well, by, we were told it hasn't been announced yet. Not that it's... Oh, no, no, we were told it was removed. <laughs> well, that's a lie. <laughs> yes, but that's what we were told. Um, and then we would expect to get our last 10 to bring our total to 40 in um, in the next pillage a month from now um, when when we and that's also when we get the no we don't get the flag then but yeah um, yeah in a month from now yeah we get the flag as well we get the flag and we get 10 more of them um, and we're assuming that uh, we don't have the outlier like we had with the Harbinger, where it takes 50 weapons, not including countermeasures. Because um, <clears throat> I, I don't think they actually, 
thought that through relative to the uh, sort of supply chain cycle that we see. Now, TSM just suggested it might be infrared. Now, that would be back in the Blackwater days. You'd have to use thermal to spot the other ships. There's an alternative version of uh, how the game developed. So, all righty. Uh, any more thoughts? Okay, we'll move to the uh, lionfish armor, which would not be showing up uh, in this pillage. Hmm. And I forgot because I was I was sort of mad about it, so I didn't even come up with a... It has basically twice the survival. Um, I'm asking. Uh, uh, it has 15k compared to 9.6, so 50% okay. more. Okay, 50% more. And uh, still 20,000 armor, um, so yeah, 15% more, so... And we're able to get six of each. Um, uh, so it gives us 12 um, with four ships that you have 24 armor slots. You're going to have uh, 30 with the uh, with the flagship when that comes out. So uh, you can only get about half of your ships armored with this pillage. Um, thoughts? Uh, you know, and as everybody keeps on reminding me, uh, it does plus three penetrative damage because it's not a rocket hull. Mm. Right, Derby? I think it's a um, <laughs> tor airborne torpedo. Okay. That's penetrative. Right. It has like fins on it or something. Uh, yeah, they, they could have waited. Um, they were, they were going to, but then they said the the Everest had like four armor slots, and this one has six. Is that true? No, it's not. Yeah, it says the same number of armor slots as the Everest, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. One more click, uh, Mike. See, um, this is me asking Drake as far as the uh, the armors. It's uh, so it's likely September. Um, so that's why I've made, uh, that's why I planned on this. That's why I currently have my, uh, Dark Herald, um, upgrading to X1 because this seemed the best time to do it based on the information available, um, at the time. So I don't know what to say. Well, I did mine last week, so. Yeah, yeah, but. You know, that took away from your lionfish. That you know. did. So my lionfish now have no armor on them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I spent time upgrading and putting armor on and, and doing the FM to get all the old armor and the uh, TLC to get uh, six more plates of the armor and then putting them on. I could have been, if my information was correct, I, what, I, what could I have been doing? I could have been upgrading Dark Herald X1. Mm -hmm. but I listened to, you know, what we were told. So. I mean, I don't see a huge problem with doing it the way you're doing it right now. Like if I have my flag upgrade into X1 right now, whatever. Well, well, I could be, you know, um, Josh is saying how, talking about how easy the pillage is because he's got them all on. Well, I, have, it, I, I, I have, I have tokens available you have tokens to do it. Lionfish have, tokens or FM tokens? I have lionfish tokens. I have lionfish tokens. You still have? Yeah. I have lionfish tokens available. Um, and But I don't have shipyard time until after this is over. Because um, I timed it out so it's going to be ready a couple hours before the raid that my, uh, uh, my ships will be... Uh, my Dark Herald would be at X1. So... Um, so we get the flagship in September and we get another special in September. I don't know if it's going to be the raid or potentially pillage. Um, we're going to get another engine in the November raid and then limited weapons and another mystery special in 2022. So <clears throat> any thoughts? Okay. Well, let's move on. All right, we have the um, 
We're getting the engine right now. We're getting the limited weapons for the upcoming Democles. During the raid, we're going to get the um, Aquila cannon, which is unlimited or non-limited. Um, a belt feed magazine, which sounds like a reload to me. Yep. Reload and, I don't know, accuracy or... Um, Crit chance is what we have on the current ones, right? What? It's reload and crit chance. Is that not what we have on the current one? We've got uh, one ballistic special that gives you a crap ton of reload, and it also gives you something else, which... Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, was fairly certain was, um, crit, was chance. crit chance, but... I'd have to load the game to look myself. Yeah, I'm not certain. Uh, Ferrex rounds, which sounds like a damage special. A little bit of damage. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's ballistic reload and some damage on those specials. But yeah, never mind. Okay. He said Ferrex rounds sounds like a damage special. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then Icarus heavy ballista preview 10.5 siege heavy weapon, which sounds like we've gone from <clears throat> um. We've gone from two armors for the upcoming Democles in regards to uh, the armors we need to put on a ship. Now we've gone to the Siege Heavy weapon, which is going to be, because it's a preview, is going to be available in the FM. So now we're going to need five of those. I'm guessing it's going to be twice the price of a of a, uh, armor because we've gone from needing... Um, two per ship to one per ship so because we're you know based on the um the post that was uh the designer post that was put out or the engineering post whatever it was called we were exposed to uh see slight increases in the the ass for the fm uh, yep so i would expect double the price um and that more. probably is going to be U1 heavy slot enabled. Yes. So, because um, I think this is the last slide. Is there anything else? Uh... Okay. So Josh is going to, he's got one lionfish with the new armor on. He's going to do a 190 with the one of them and see how he gets out of it. So my, my thing is we have... Um... Before we get the flagship line fish, we have six armor slots per hole and four holes. We have 24 armors. We can get half of them that we need now. If I get half of them now, I'm probably just going to equip those 12 and leave the other 12 slots blank. Or does it make sense to put old armor in those other 12 slots for the next month? Well, I, I think we're going to get more in the raid in a couple weeks. If we go back to... I don't know. I don't have a slide for it, but basically, um, uh, Peter's post said that we are going to be getting uh, the armors in pillage and raids over the next upcoming months, and we weren't sure what the ex next upcoming months were. So it started for pillage. So my assumption is it's it starts the clock on the raid. So, do we get another six and um, uh, six of each? Well, we're we getting six of each now. Yeah. So we get another twelve total. That's in the raid. I, that's uh, you know I don't um, I don't know if anybody can uh, pull it up, but that's that's what makes sense to me based on based on that post. I mean, yeah, yeah. So. <clears throat> Anybody notice the reclaimer targets not paying out five thousand? Yeah, they pay out four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine, which is not a highly polished game. And we complained about it last month. I mean it's it's one point, whatever. I'll go hit one more target and it happens because things kill the warehouses or whatever. Yeah. I mean you I would prefer the target, it not you ought to get what they advertise, you know. Yeah, I, I prefer it not happen. It's possible actually to get the full five thousand if you don't go near the radio towers. I think, but it's annoying as hell. 
well, things are already firing at each other as soon as you enter, so I'm not even sure that's true. I, I'm sure I am sure it's possible to get the full 5,000 because I've seen screenshots of people doing it. Hmm. I'd rather not worry about it and hit just one more and be done. It's okay. Yeah, it, it, it annoys me, though. It's like, come on. Yeah, I don't have a round number. Yeah. Well, just, it might it might be a reason good. to do one of the uh, the B B sets or whatever they're called. Well, I, you know what I did? I went into one and just hit a few buildings and got the hell out of there and just topped up my points and said, "Let it sit, screw it." Yeah, I mean my my problem. I can auto the one seventies for instant base repair every time, at least uh -huh. every time with the with the uh, sea serpents. Uh -huh. But it's not going to be exciting for me to do it a hundred and ten times. No, I, th I think we. I think this was news. This was news to you last week uh, or last month, uh, Mike. That he could auto one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, it's still, you know. So, so Derp, you're saying that would be very engaging. <laughs> doing doing the same thing 110 times, very engaging. No, it's only no, not really. Times. You said it only 10 times. Only 110 times. Only 110. There you go. Yeah, yeah, just about. Put on a good Zeppelin album, and before you know it, you got it done. Well, I'm about 10% of the way there already, so. See? See? So Josh has uh, posted his resorts there in the chat. 24 minutes damage from a 190 with a single lionfish on auto with a new armor, about 10 minutes of damage. <laughs> All that makes me think I should auto it with just one lionfish, not four. This is the 190. This is the FM yeah. card. Oh, yeah. never mind. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I put the link on in case anybody else wants to join because I'm not sure. Uh, there we go, KB. Um, what we have left to share. Um, I don't know. Well, Nobby scrapped his lions. That's what I saw. What? Tiefling's brother <laughs> scrapped his lionfish. Don't try autoing with one derby. Don't don't try it. No, nah, no. Nah, I tried okay. that. Tried that. That nearly killed. Nearly on the one killed. on the, the one eighty or the one ninety. On the one eighty. Okay. 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 I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I it's sent terrifying. four in, but I only only sent one on auto and it was it was down to uh, not much health left, so I had to send another one on just to uh, finish it up. Yeah. So it appears there's some fibbing about uh, scrapping somebody scrapping their lines based on what I'm seeing. So um but we'll see. Uh, yeah, um, KB, how are you doing with the uh, with the target? Oh uh, well, I've only done one. Okay, and, okay. Uh, that it was so much uh, fun. It, it was so much well. fun. Yeah, it didn't end well, that's, that's why I tried uh, just sending one in, thinking, oh yeah, well maybe maybe it'll be a bit like the uh, FM target where you can uh, sort of send one ship ship in and uh, just let it auto but no, that didn't work very well either and of course the number of points you need it's uh going to be horribly boring just doing the other target the 170 even though that's that's okay i took seven minutes i think on the first one i did there so that's not going to be an issue but the lionfish i think they need to turn that down a fair bit but I suspect I won't. Yeah, I'm doubting they're... Well, I'd like to see them tune it down like some, it. but... If they said it was tuned for three, I mean, gee whiz. Well, I've got four, and, you know, admittedly, the I've only done one, and I took an hour and a half's worth of damage, and I, I got hit by the uh, mm -hmm. Sentinels a little bit, so I could probably tidy that up a bit, but still, I'd imagine that... I might knock half an hour or so off it, but I reckon I'd still be doing an hour's worth of damage I, per. I'll take the criticism, but didn't we kind of reckon it was going to be more or less an auto target? And then based on, 
even some of that thought they said they said it was to be tuned for three and then they didn't say it was with what kind of armor or if it had any armor well you would think with three that you'd need some you would hope they'd err on the on the lighter side surely right but no way known as that target tuned for three no way it's tuned for uh four fullies and probably plus some of the new armor as well new armor right yeah i think they got at least halfway to go down on that thing you know i, I would say probably just over half an hour would be not a bad sort of uh an outcome I agree with that. You know, and that's between that's thirty and forty without, minutes on, on a, without using a crew. So, you know, with a crew, yeah, maybe you should be able to just knock it down to a little bit under half an hour. So you're starting to get to the to mm -hmm. the realms of maybe an instant instant in base, or you know, wait a minute or two to to repair. Well, I know the last pillage I was doing the harder target at the end of the day, throwing a crew on and doing as many as I could before bedtime because they were like 35 minutes or more each, if I do recall. Again, I could be corrected. But, uh, you know, the the last pillage that Reclaimer targets pretty much the same, if it is the same. Yep. They they should make the new target very similar to the one that they're taking out, I think, in terms of difficulty. But that's my opinion. Yeah, the new ones. Well, yeah. the current the current one's okay. That's, that's the current one's issue. fine. It's fine. Because then you could do a, a thing like you know do a bunch of them before you're done for the evening and absorb that damage and just let it repair overnight or if you're really in a hurry you could throw some coin at it but not a ton it's like you know a couple coin here and there is not bad but two and a half hours for no yeah well <laughs> i think a lot of people wouldn't have put a lot of time into uh upgrading the lions so you know mm -hmm. i think it'll be it'll be stopping them from getting the getting the shit that they need to progress through the through the weekly yep. you know it's just gonna they're gonna plot go in there once and see how bad it is and say oh well i'm not gonna do this so then you're going to have all the people complain and well i can't do the fucking fm or i'm spending hours I'm and grinding hours. On, yeah grinding on the targets yep, yep. yeah yeah uh, I, I think this is a. Uh, i'm hoping they make an adjustment to the damage or the fact that you know we were sort of told it was an auto ship mm -hmm. and it's not really an auto ship and we haven't figured out you know how to drive it. How to drive well, it. It. Can't, it can't be an auto ship when that target's got the sentinels in there and the auto is going to stop you in in range of that, I would have thought. Uh, you know, the new because, one. Go ahead. Yeah, you, yeah, the new one you you've got to you've got to be pretty careful trying to sneak up to it, just looking at uh, what derby did earlier so auto's not going to do that it's just going to go and and stop and you're probably going to take take damage basically from everything that's in there i'm talking about pillage ruby, ruby. yeah so am i yeah 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 yeah. the 190 is the only the pillage target no yeah oh, 190 no no, no 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 the 190 is the the FM target, the 180 is the... Yeah, we're talking uh, about the 180. I, I'm talking about the 180. Yeah. yeah. I think KB is also. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, it's just, 
it's just going to make it too hard for this is frustrating it's kind people of people to actually get their lion fish moving along yeah it's kind of a normal occurrence though i mean we go through this every time we make a village change and every time we make a event change i think they always try to strike that right spot i guess but this hall is odd in the fact that we and the fact that they took everything that made it and that made a garrison hole a garrison hole and did the opposite <laughs> yeah yeah and you know the fact that we have you know you expect an auto hall to be like rockets fast high defenses and now 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 we have a submarine that surfaces and doesn't do well doesn't do splash damage it doesn't do really the damage that we saw historically it doesn't feel like a auto hall to players and we in the uh, in the fm it was an auto hall and then in pillage it may not be an auto hall um so yeah i, I can understand the confusion <clears throat> But at the end of the day, even if it's an auto hold, you should be getting some some value out of it by driving the bloody thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you should. And, and I, I was saying know, twenty-five you, to fifty percent. Yeah, and I, I, I if, was going thirty to yeah. I was very close on those numbers, Derpy, as far as driving versus not driving, as far as the expectation of autoing a target versus driving the target well. Because the explosive turrets, you know, oh, you can you can avoid a couple of them if you if you get the timing right on when you when you surface, but you're still taking damage just to get to that spot to surface whilst they're not bloody firing. So well, uh, and a fifty percent fifty percent damage is way too high. I reckon you should be getting probably a 75% bonus whilst you submerge. Yeah, it really depends on the range of everything. And not every hall is an auto hall. Um, uh, Derpy's probably the best. Uh, there are certain halls that if you put them on auto, you're going to die within 25% completion of the uh, target. I can't name them off the top of my head, but I know that some things simply cannot be autoed yeah well a lot of it depends on the setup the stupid of the photon etm sorry to interrupt but uh, those things go yeah. ahead yeah I, I was just saying it depends on the setup of the turrets and all that sort of stuff as to you know how many times you under fire by multiple things or whether the the artificial intelligence sort of has a has a reasonable path where you only get hit by one thing each time. You know, that's that's where all your damage comes from if you're getting hit by three or four different things at the one time. Hey, Mike, can you go back one slide? Just because this one's, you know, not that we're going to really talk about it, but it's just more informative. He might be off doing something else. <clears throat> Mike? Oh, well, everyone ready for the raid next week? <laughs> I I think I will be. I mean, I yeah, think I'll, I'll, I'll have all my ships will be U3 or X1. Yeah. And the most important one is the, uh, the flag to get to X1. Yeah, no more stupid fire fields. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope mean, you put fire fields everywhere in this target. I hope they cover the entire thing with fire fields. Yes. Well, that would, there'll be still someone complaining about it. Well, yeah, because you know they also gave us lionfish, you know, to build. So some people are not going to be at uh, X one in the flag. Not everybody's going to be that. So, yeah, there will be complaints. I will be. I'm not going to have I'm, new armors on my lionfish because I'm of that. probably going to have two ships at U3. <clears throat> okay. And you, you, okay. 
you're still counting for the TLC plus the pillow. Oh, we, we did the TLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you have five. I just have five sitting there in cold storage, and then I have another one. Um, yeah, I, I've used a few of them. Okay, okay. All right. Just checking. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know. If we don't have much left, uh, uh, I did want to ask because uh, – does anybody in here play uh, GTA? No. No, I haven't played that for youngs. Okay, because I'm I'm played it five, I played it through multiple times, and I'm just curious if anybody in the community that watches, because I'm tempted to go to the online version, but I hear how badly they treat low level players. I uh, you know like you can join a mission are, with are people. Are you playing Battle Pirates? What? I'm just saying as far as the people that are listening, but you can reach, you know, if you want, reach out to me as far as, because I'm looking for people, because I, I, I see all the griefing that's going on. Um, so, you know, I'm a little bit reticent to start without anybody that uh, might be helpful out there as far as going to GTA online. So, um, well, all right. No, no doubt, like every online game, that it's geared towards people spending money. No, or people that are you mean, you, mean, you mean companies have to have revenue in order to make a game? No, I don't believe you. Exactly. Uh, I don't know no, because I I popped in at one point, and every time is a zero. I had three three rounds of my gun. And then all these people are sniping me from wherever. I mean, that are a lot, you know, them. Yeah, it, it was very difficult. It, we don't have this, like, you know, once you reach a certain level, it was just, you know, boom, boom, boom. And then you would sign up to join missions to do people, do with people. And then we just do it just to kill you. Just a lot of assholes out there. So uh, I, I'm just looking to see if anybody out there is. Uh, uh, plays it and uh, listens to the show and you know because it, otherwise it seems like a very frustrating experience so all right um, we're five past the hour um, I'm going to post the link again and um, is there anything else that we need to uh, need to discuss because i think otherwise we're in uh we're in good shape but magic mike is obviously not it off maybe he's trying to kill a 180. i don't know i asked him to change the slide like five minutes ago but it's not happening so um i had to walk away what slide do you want just one back okay, but you sorry. know it's sort of boring and um <laughs> All right. Um, anything else, anybody? All right. If not, we will see you all on Friday. Um, see if we see any improvement on the uh, on the lionfish target and pillage. And um, says that I don't I don't know what to say. I mean, it's uh, you know, it's. Uh, Seems like over the top damage, and uh, people are going to get angry, and yada yada yada. You know, same sort of shit. Um, just badly. Uh, well, particularly when when you need so many points to get the must-have stuff. Yeah. You know, there's no there's no cheap way around it, really. Uh, no, there is. Uh, just keep on hitting the targets with the reclaimers and that's a cheap way to do it yeah but then you gotta do it for how many hours how many hours if you're gonna do it with lionfish uh, yeah it's not really that different well I mean, see at least by by doing both targets you get you get a little bit a little bit easier but yeah yeah i, I mean like I said, I was able to get, I think it was 
It was 70,000 in a half an hour. Let me double check. Um, yeah, 70,000. I could have probably got more because I was repairing. I, I'm not even sure, based on what I've seen and heard, that I'm even going to hit the uh, hit, hit the uh, the landfish target. It doesn't really seem like the risk reward is uh, is worth it, based on what you know everybody's been telling me here, in chat and then on the show. It doesn't really seem to make sense. Besides, no, not not unless they do something about the damage. Yeah, the damage needs to go down, but I mean, <clears throat> really, you would have thought we're what two hours into it, so you would have thought they'd have done something about it by now. I think that they should cut the damage in half. Yeah, well, as as I was saying to, I think it was to Mike earlier. I reckon, you know, if you if you're getting around the thirty minutes. That's probably not too bad. That's thirty nearly, minutes with fully armored. Yeah, that's that'd be would be good for me. That's nearly nearly instant repair. So you you maybe have to wait, you know, four or five minutes to go through your three or four ships. But you know, I would have thought that have been somewhere on the acceptable side because then you're probably able to to muck around with that a little bit by using a crew or. Or whatever, and you might be, you might be getting somewhere thereabouts. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll wind things up, and we'll see you on Friday, and uh, see if we have any more, uh, anything more informative on the uh, on the lionfish target. But I, I just plan to. Uh, own the reclaimer targets until uh, you know until they come to their senses yeah yeah until I see an announcement on uh, at, uh, on the top of the screen telling me that uh, they change things basically because it doesn't really feel uh, you know with developing ships and whatnot this feels like an overreach and I'm not really I'm not a huge fan of it well particularly for the first pillage when they're they're going to be used and allegedly they're tuned for three so if people have got four that are fully armored they should be walking through the target basically yeah 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 it seems like it's you know it's tuned for something different than what we were led to expect so all right yeah, everybody you've you look at the leaderboards and there's still people that have got over a million points already so you know you've got to wonder that i suppose they would just blitz in the uh the other target rather than the 180 you would imagine um, yeah. um, i mean the people at the top of the leaderboard i have no idea what they're doing but you know it's a whole different completely different issue Probably not something that we would talk about on this show. So, uh, all right, everybody. Thanks for, uh, do they take, uh, uh, um, in the one eighties, you take, uh, more pen damage in the one nineties. You gentlemen that, uh, of the one eighties, the, uh, okay. The one nineties, you take more pen damage in the one eighties. Uh, Zerpy, did you notice when you were hitting it, the target? The, the pillage one I hit with the lionfish with 50 50. Okay. So fairly even in pillage, but he was also driving to avoid the sentinel damage, correct? Yep. So um, if you're I, just, auto I just finished a 180 with mine. Let me just see how the damage split was on it. I drove it pretty decent. So. Penetrative, 16% taken compared to 8% on the explosive. Say one more time. On the penetrative damage taken, I'm at 16% taken. Explosive, hmm. I'm at 8. Hmm. Okay. And let's see what the repair bill is. This is three hulls, none of the new armors, two of the old, no crew, no rockets. Okay. One, hour, well, well, one hour, 19 minutes, 24 seconds. 
Yeah, that's bullshit. Okay, so the uh, so you, you, the damage taken, but and your uh, the allocation of your armor is is even. Yes. Okay, just want to double check with that. Yep. Okay. So yeah. But the big the big takeaway here that one nineteen versus what I what did I shoot you before the show one forty seven something, mm -hmm. roughly. So there's there's a difference there just by I avoided all the sentinel uh, damage. Okay. So yeah, but that that must be the ships that's doing all the pen damage then, and um, all the the, the big halo, missile. the big halo missile thing. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, I suppose you were probably in there quick, weren't you? Um, no, I was driving very carefully. I prepped no, as much as I could on the exterior and then got in there and took out the big missile as soon as I could cleanly do that without, you know, taking a pounding from every which direction. And I mopped it up carefully, too, so I would avoid taking Sentinel fire. Yeah, so then you wouldn't have gotten hit and hit by the halos that often then, would you? Um... <clears throat> Yeah, there was enough time in there for it to, to ping on me a few times. I mean, not a ridiculous amount, but some. And then you got the UAVs. I really don't know how much damage those, those darn UAVs are even doing. They're doing something. The, but... the Neptunes or whatever they they are, they, they do a fair bit of damage because they got both the long range and the short range normally hitting you. Yep, yep. That, that you couldn't really avoid. I, I don't so see that, countermeasures doing anything against the stuff. Fires no. occasionally, but and that's why that's, that's why I tell all the girls as well. <laughs> so I reckon that's where a lot of your damage is probably the penetrative stuff is coming from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more than likely. But anyway, all right. Uh, we'll see you all on Friday, and uh, links still available not that far up in case you guys want to join and um best of luck with pillage and hopefully they change the uh the damage in the uh, lionfish target god knows if they will but uh i think it would be a good move on their part if they did mm -hmm. so, so later everybody and see, see you <laughs>